I don't think that an agreement, a contractual agreement to arbitrate is essentially a private matter. It has very important public law implications. And I'm going to talk about some of those. Now, in the original conception of the FAA, those public law concerns were probably not going to be very important. Because what do you have? You have equal parties, and you have commercial disputes. The arbitral disputes were, pr were primarily about things, you know, you shipped me red widgets, I needed blue widgets, they're, they're worth less, you owe me money, or I don't want them, or whatever, whatever. They're essentially applying default rules of commerce. And while we may have some particular interest in particular default rules of commerce, primarily we're interested in there being a rule. It's usually more important that there's a rule and that it's clear than it is what the rule is. I contrast those disputes with the kind of disputes that are subject to mandatory arbitration today under the Federal Arbitration Act. And those are disputes about, for example, things like paying the minimum wage, employment discrimination. Matters that have came into being because of important historical events in the country and matters that express important political judgments about what how those things should be decided. So when those kinds of disputes are resolved in arbitration, they're resolved by persons who are not publicly accountable. They're resolved in private 